Thank you for the visit. PsyQ is science made simple for the rest of us. Enjoy. For the first time, scientific methods to help enable older people to grow biologically younger were revealed. The immediate goal is to expeditiously develop these therapies to provide an additional 20 to 30 years of healthy longevity to older individuals. The reason this extra time is so critical is so people can reach escape velocity as described by Aubrey de Grey. What's so tantalizing about these studies is that no new drug needs to be discovered to begin testing these therapies on older individuals. The following treatments offer strong potential for reversing human aging right now. First up, the simplest human trial involves an FDA-approved drug called Desatinib that demonstrated profound age reversal effects in a mouse study published in 2015. Just one Desatinib tablet taken for three consecutive weeks might induce systemic rejuvenating effects in people. There are several different Desatinib doses which need to be tested to see if Desatinib will work in people. The cost of this drug is remarkably low since only three tablets are required once every five or ten years. Next up, GDF-11 is a naturally occurring peptide that has the capacity to restore aging muscles, hearts, and brains in mice. Researchers at Harvard and other institutions have shown that may induce significant age reversal effects. GDF-11 had never been tested in humans until a pioneering longevity enthusiast became patient zero on June 7, 2014. About 20 volunteers are now self-experimenting and measuring biomarkers to determine GDF-11's effectiveness. The preliminary data from a cohort of humans self-experimenting with GDF-11 indicate an urgent need for a controlled clinical trial to see if these age reversal effects are reproducible among a larger group of individuals over age 55. Through the normal aging processes, such as glycation, soft tissues lose their youthful elasticity and become stiff. Adverse manifestations of arterial stiffening included hypertension and heart valve stenosis. Scientists have been seeking a way to reverse arterial stiffening for decades, looking for compounds that can break cross links that form in our body's proteins. After 4 to 14 months of self experimentation with GDF 11, arterial stiffness was reduced to remarkable 37%. If this is all GDF-11 did, then every aging human would want this to protect against vascular disease. Third up is young stem cell mobilized plasma transfer. The bone marrow of healthy 21-year-olds contains an abundance of functional stem cells, immune cells, and paracrine factors including plasma exosomes, proteins, and cytokines. Using an FDA-approved factor that mobilizes bone marrow and a proprietary protocol for its administration, rapid release of pro-youth factors is enhanced. Through a process known as apheresis, these pro-youth factors can be harvested in the plasma from the young donors and then administered to older people with the objective of restoring healthy immune function along with systemic tissue regeneration and a reduction of frailty. This study is to be conducted at the South Florida Bone Marrow Stem Cell Institute in Boynton Beach, Florida. It plans to initially enroll about 30 to 50 study subjects who meet the eligibility criteria to receive plasma from blood-matched healthy young donors. There are several methods of delivering the benefits of young plasma exchanges to older individuals, but tightly controlled research must be done. Numerous studies dating back to the 1950s show that when young blood is circulated into old animals, the old animals become biologically younger. More recent parabiosis studies offer even greater encouragement. A fascinating new study shows short-term injections of plasma from 18-year-old humans into old mice induces rapid and meaningful rejuvenating effects. What counts for most people is quality of life. This study of old mice injected with human blood demonstrated the older mice behaved like younger control mice. Last up is thymic regeneration. Immune senescence can be initiated by the atrophy of the thymus gland that begins near the time of puberty. Thymic atrophy can be reversed in animals 
and in young HIV patients, but until recently this has only been documented once in a normal aging human. Now, a human age reversal trial with collaborators at Stanford University is underway using FDA-approved agents in a creative combination that has been shown to not only regenerate the thymus but to improve blood markers indicative of healthier immune status. Safe rejuvenation of other organs may be possible as well. Side effects have been minimal and subjective responses have been positive. Spin-off applications of thymic regeneration technology include elimination of type 1 diabetes, autoimmune diseases, and transplant rejection. It also greatly improves the ability to ward off new infections and malignancies. The thymus gland peaks around puberty and then rapidly shrivels. By age 40 there is little functional thymic tissue remaining. This downward trend in thymic structure and function worsens as we grow older. Immune senescence is strongly correlated with risk of near-term death. Therefore many believe that immune dysregulation plays a key role in degenerative aging, and one that is reversible. The antibiotic properties of penicillin were published in 1929, but millions died from bacterial infections before it became widely available. If age reversal therapies are delayed as long as penicillin, many people will not live long enough. To benefit from these new therapies. We can't just wait. Elderly people are dying right now. They need access to age reversal therapies immediately. The link to the full article from which the content of this video was taken is posted in the description below. PsyQ highly encourages you to read it to get the full story and so you can get involved in the process. If you are 50 years old, or older, or know someone who is, you should want to become involved in age reversal. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, share and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more releases from PsyQ.